Yep, that's right. Luckily, the Snatchers, you know, they don't build models specific for each skin type. They kind of shrink to fit in, which is kind of cool. Gender units, you say? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, they just sent another Snatcher to kill them, and they already have, you know... Uh, and never mind, I, I won't spoil it for you. They really love that awful beeping sound. And you can tell the one on the left is a lady. Just kidding. I, li I love the big fat guy right there. It kind of looks like Chief Cunningham. This is where they fuse the artificial skin onto the Snatcher's endostructure. First, they adjust the size of the still skinless snatcher to the size of the individual who is to be snatched. The snatcher's overall shape and size can be adjusted by expansion or contraction of sizing rods. Their sex is controlled by gender units, which are installed at this point. Then, the face is modified to match the intended victim by adjusting the size of the upper and lower jaw, cheekbones, temporal bones, and tooth alignment. Just like Gibson said, that means there are limits to the size of the people that they can snatch. That's right. The limits of the mechanism mean that they can't snatch children, the elderly, or people who are very tall or heavy. And this is where the artificial muscles attach. Is it organic? No. It appears to be coated with a type of plastic gel capable of mechanical response. Like human muscles, it creates mechanical energy through chemical reactions. And this is where the artificial skin is attached. In order to prevent the synthetic cells, developed using biotechnological protein design techniques, from rejecting the inorganic material below, they attach it gradually over a number of days. And this is the stuff that gets cancer if they stay out in the sun too long. Finally, they attach body and scalp hair. The process involves transplant of synthetic hair follicles as well, so the hair will grow back if it's lost. What about scars or birthmarks? It would appear that they make those adjustments at this point in the process, as they would for wrinkles to simulate age. I just think that's cool. You know, really, I think I'd just start shooting every single one of them. And that annoying beeping. I know there's a way to check that, the terminal. I think that's pretty much it. Alright, come on.
So this is where the whole thing begins. The endo structures arrive here from the Kremlin. Then they convert them into copies of their victims. And finally, they head out into the city using the old subway system. With artificial skin maintenance being handled at Queen's Hospital. But who's behind all this? Gillian, look at this. There are some finished snatchers over here. Get a load of this. The U.S. President, the Prime Ministers of Japan, and the U.K. Gillian, you're in here too. <laughs> Figures. They were looking to snatch every VIP at the summit. And the last junker, you. It definitely looks like they plan on moving out beyond Neo Kobe. If they were to snatch every major world leader, they'd practically be able to control the planet. Still, that's odd. With their flawed skin, pulling something off like that would really be difficult. Chin said they had found the key to developing a perfect artificial skin. Maybe they've already produced it. No idea. But the number of snatchers here makes it clear that they're up to something new. Gillian, this is definitely their nest. We should destroy everything. Not yet. Not until we found Jamie. Uh, Metal, uh, how much time do we have left? The summit should have begun by now. We don't have much time. And once our legal privileges are suspended, I won't be able to help. In fact, I'll be forced to restrain you. I know, I know. If the military wants to avoid nukes and goes for a surgical strike on this facility, uh, what would they likely use? Probably a phased particle beam from one of the attack satellites. A phased particle beam, huh? That'll wipe this complex right off the map. Everything, including the soil, will simply evaporate. The attack will leave just a large crater. Metal, can you convince them to give me another hour? Even 30 minutes will help. Understood. I'll try my best. And I'll try to find and rescue Jamie in that time. I can't transmit here due to interference from the Snow Nine. I'll have to leave the area and then send the message. All right. Do it, Metal. Gillian, don't forget. 30 minutes. You must get out before then. I understand. Gillian, I'm sorry I couldn't help you better. Don't worry about it. I'll be able to move faster by myself anyway. 30 minutes should be plenty. Go, Metal! Yes, sir. Don't forget, 30 minutes! <coughs> 30 minutes? Oh, this is gonna be tight. That room's the only place left to check. Let's take a look. <laughs> 